I'm gonna mention something. Get us real agitated. Like I said, we might need to pack up and leave. Yeah. Do you know who Jesus Christ is? Do you know that name? That makes me feel real uneasy. I know I'm like really uneasy feeling for some reason. If you are evil, then let us know. You're saying some bad words. Are you an evil spirit? Do you want us to leave? I don't know how y'all feel right now. Not feel real I know. Yeah. It's just, I don't know what it is. Does this house? Yeah. I just don't feel good at all. <sighs> this is, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you are. I don't know if you're just an evil human spirit or, or what. Tell me. Tell us right now. Why you're here. And do not <clears throat> cling to anybody in, in this house and follow us home. You, got, you, you can't do that. I feel real. Yeah. Jittery. I don't I mean, feel not, so like, good. I think like fear is just like yeah. my heart's fluttering a little bit. Yeah. What's your name? You can blurt out profanities. You can say Gary's name. What's yours? Did I say Tom? That's what it sounded like. So it's your like, name's Tom. Well, I don't know any bad things named Tom. But are, was you a mean old dude or something? Maybe, or just... Or does it upset you that we're here? This, this was your house, maybe at one time. Is this your house? If there's anybody in this house with us, you don't have to be scared of us. We know that there is something or someone here. And if you could make your presence known to us, we'd appreciate that. We're not here to hurt you or make you go away. The family that lives in this home or wants to live in this home wants to move in. But the kids are uneasy here and they want to make sure that it's safe for them. I don't like this kitchen at all. I just, I don't know. So if you give us a sign, anything that you're in here with us, we'd 
really appreciate that. That sounded like it was inside to me. Mm -hmm. Would it be? If you could knock on the wall or make something fall, make a noise loud, open one of the cabinets here, close it. I keep hearing something. I hear something scuffling around. Mm -hmm. If you're in the house with this chem cluster, can you make this cabinet shut or make it move? Is there somebody upstairs? Mm -hmm. Our footsteps. We're not going to leave until you either show yourself to us or make your presence known. So go ahead. Can you please make a noise? Do you want us to leave? Do you think it's a mouse? I think it's like outside me on us walking around on the porch. Not me. to be here, give us a sign that you don't. Make something move or fall. If you want us to leave, do something for us. We're wrapping up our investigation here at Dungannon, and we feel like there's a lot of history here at the, at the house, and the house has much more potential to the owners, and we feel like it's pretty safe for them to come in. We're still going to go over evidence and 
we present our evidence to them. But we feel like the house with a lot of TLC and tender love and care can be a lot more. In concluding this investigation here in Dungannon, Virginia, we refer back to our first initial EMF sweep through the house and the high EMF alarm we got on the medicine cabinet. And there's no live wires or electricity in the home and there's no magnets in the medicine cabinet. We checked for everything we could possibly think of. Uh, there was nothing behind the wall at the medicine cabinet. Dwight was doing that. But later on in the investigation, it would make sense because the family wanted us there to find answers to what was going on at the home. And the answer was there right from the very beginning. Because later on in the investigation, like I said, in the front bedroom, we found a what appeared to be someone had been coming into the home uh, unbeknownst to the owners and using it for what looked like maybe a, to, to use drugs. We found all kinds of things in there that sort of led us to that conclusion. And what's been going on, I, yeah, where, do you, where do you keep your drugs normally in a medicine cabinet? So sometimes you just got to piece the puzzle together, put the pieces together, and um, I think that's what we've done on this case. So I think whatever is there, once the family there, it's there to watch over them. Wants them to move in, make that that house their home because it's a beautiful home. Uh, had a great time there. Appreciate the church family for allowing us to come in, and uh, hopefully we put their mind at ease.